Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Sunday Swap has launched on Testnet. Not mainnet, not completely live, but Testnet. This is where the community uses anyone that's interested in Sunday Swap can finally get their hands on the decks, have a look at what it's like, give it a test and see what the experience is like, work out some of the bugs and really give it a good thrashing to work out what's wrong with it, what needs to improve, etc., etc. So this video will take you through the entire process of playing around with the Sunday Swap decks. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone and welcome back. Or this if this is your first time, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click that notification bell, and you hear more really cool content all around the Cardano ecosystem. Now let's get into this and find out exactly what's going on. So Sunday Swap have finally launched the test net of their decentralized exchange. It took a little while. We all thought it would come through on Sunday night, uh, UTC Pacific Eastern Standard Time, uh, but it's finally come through on Monday evening for me. And let's have a look at it right here. So this is the DEX. I'm on the homepage at the moment. I'll take you through the entire process of connecting your wallet, funding it, and then getting through and doing a swap or providing liquidity. I went through this entire process before. It was fairly smooth and, you know, pretty unexciting, really. But let's go through this. Now, they've got a beta guy here. You can click on that. Now, if you haven't downloaded the NAMI wallet yet, there is a link to it in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can see how that whole process works. You need to download it, install it, set up your seed phrase, et cetera, et cetera. So go through that, go through and install NAMI. Next, you need to connect your wallet. You can click on the connect button there or connect button here, and we'll just go through, connect that wallet. Yeah, let me just see. Sorry, the camera's in the way. Now, I already have funded this wallet. I do have all my various tokens in here, including a whole bunch of test ADA. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you will need to click on here and then click on the fund wallet button here. This will give you those first initial assets that you'll need so that you can do some swaps. All right, so I'll go and let's start this swapping process because I've already funded and I have everything I need. So I'll click on swap and click on what I want to swap. I'll swap the test ADA and I'll swap 100 of that for some mint tokens. No mint, no, let's choose something more interesting. S berries. Yeah, all right, S berries will do. Oh, I get quite a few. That's a good exchange rate, I think. Now um, I'll click on swap. Now this is the confirmation screen. This gives me an idea of exactly what I'm swapping. So I'm swapping 100 ADA for 512 S berries. This is the details of the transaction as well. So we've got a little bit of fees that come through there. The uh, ADA transaction fee, the scooper processing fee, the liquidity provider fee, and the deposit. Now I'll go, I'll go, I'll make some more videos that will break down exactly what all these fees are, who receives the fees and how it all works. But for now, let's just hold this button here and go through the swapping process. So now that I've confirmed that the transaction's been built, so there's a whole bit of scripting that needs to be done. And now the NAMI wallet has been invoked and now I can actually sign this transaction. So I'll go through and sign this, type in my password, and away we go. Now, fingers crossed this goes through. The network is very congested at the moment. And there we go. My transaction was submitted to the blockchain, which is great. Now I'll just close that and that's it. Like I said, it's, it's pretty uneventful uh, once you go through it. Now I'll just click on uh, here and go to transactions. Now this the this was a pending. Uh, this is probably my transaction from just before. Then it's still saying pending, so it hasn't uh, completely uh, hasn't hasn't updated in this part yet. So I can't uh, see it there in my status just yet. But that will update soon as soon as it um, uh, hits the blockchain. Again, I just can't see my Nami wallet button because of this cameras in the way. And I can see my S berry balance has increased. It has changed. So that's that's uh, good there. So it's uh, let's have a look at the history of transaction here. So I can see here that this particular transaction did go through. This is some of my earlier test transactions as well. So I can see that and I can see S berries moving out there. That's pretty cool. 
And this is uh, my transaction on the blockchain as well. I can see that it's gone through the confirmations uh, are just hitting the pool network and I can see what's gone through with my particular transaction here. So I can see my, uh, my, what do you call it? My transaction fee that I paid and uh, the total outputs, everything. So that's it. It's um, like I said, really uneventful. Um, I'm just trying to load up here the uh, real time explorer for the blockchain as well. So this is what the test net looks like at the moment. It's chock a block. The blocks are fairly full at the moment. So maybe a little bit of tweaking is needed when this goes live. But you can see all of the transactions that are going through at the moment. And it's uh, it's pretty much uh, loading up the blockchain at the moment. Now, there's a whole lot of scaling uh, available for the Cardano blockchain to handle all this. We can increase the block size quite easily. It's only at about 27% of its entire capacity at the moment. So we can increase that. We can have it increased quite a bit to take on uh, the demand and the load of these decentralized exchanges. But back to the Sunday Swap site. Now that swap was fairly easy to do. So let's try and do something a little bit more interesting. So this is my actual wallet here. So this is my portfolio. This shows me how much uh, assets I have. This is my ADA, my Mint, my S berries, and my R berries. Uh, and a couple more vanilla and chocks there as well. Uh, so that's that's what's in my wallet at the moment. And you can see a couple of things that are coming soon. Now, the last thing that I haven't shown you yet is the liquidity. So this is where you can provide liquidity to the decentralized exchange. And then from that, collect some of the fees that go through uh, and uh, essentially yield farm. So provide the liquidity and then you collect the fees as people start to do the swaps on the network. So let's uh, add some liquidity. So I'm going to add in some ADA and I'll choose 100 ADA again. And let's go S berries again. S berries are cool. Now here I can choose how much of a fee I would like to collect. So let's see here. Mm, let's go in the middle, 0 0.3. Best here for most pairs. There we go. So let's add liquidity and hold to deposit. So this is the same as doing a swap. I have to hold then release, it will write my transaction for me. Fingers crossed the blockchain isn't overloaded as I do this and I'll click on sign. And that's it. Again, very uneventful. So I'll just close that and I've added liquidity. So that's gonna take a little bit of time to actually go through and get uh, submitted to the blockchain. So I won't be able to check it uh, just yet, but let's go back to the home. Let's go look at my transactions here. So I can see my uh, deposit for the liquidity. It's uh, still going at the moment. I have a feeling this might be a bug in the system and it does need to be reported. Uh, my pending transaction, which did go through a little bit earlier, is hasn't been updated in my transaction list uh, and it should have been appearing in my submitted list. So that's probably a bug that needs to be reported to the team so they can improve on that. But that's it. I've provided liquidity now. So let's have a look at my portfolio. Does it upload here? So it doesn't uh, update here just yet. So I'm just going to click on my wallet. If I can see it. I'm just check the transaction here under the history. And there it is. So that's that's my um, my submission for the liquidity pool. So I'll just check that on on the Cardano scan. I can see that's gone through at the moment. So I haven't got any confirmations of that transaction just yet. So I do have to wait a little bit for the blockchain to catch up and actually uh, do the confirmations for that transaction. But that's it, guys. <laughs> it's um, it's uh. We're all hyped up and really excited and we're waiting for this to all happen. And it's here, <laughs> it's here. Uh, I can find, I found a, a little bug there a little bit earlier with the uh, transaction not going to the submitted uh, tab in that uh, tra transaction details list. But that's it, um, I've managed to fund my wallet. I've done a swap, I've done uh, a liquidity, adding to a liquidity pool. Um, and that's all I really expect from a decentralized exchange. So it's um, not much else to do. 
um, I'll wrap up this video. And now if you want to find out more, make sure you, you follow Sunday Swap on Twitter. I'll be putting this out through, uh, uh, through there. And if you want to discuss it a little bit more, jump on a Twitter space a little bit later and uh, we'll talk all about this. It's uh, quite exciting to see it finally here. I'm really excited to actually see it. And congratulations to the Sunday Swap team. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast Gotta get it hype, crypto is what we like But this is not investment or financial advice Gotta do your research, cause it's risky, we know it is This show is educational and it's informative Crypto's the future, really it ain't no debate